Hi, this is Raider Shinden and welcome to Toku Thinking, a series where we tackle some of the finer points of tokusatsu, to the point of overthinking about children's shows. You might know what tokusatsu is already, given that everybody watches this, is either a hardcore fan or have an idea at least, or at least use Google. But let's cut to the chase and discover the finer points within the first episode. Tokusatsu Dying Out, a response. I actually came across this epiphany that a personal friend and fellow fan posted on Facebook about Tokusatsu Dying Out and his dying interest on it. I personally think that this is a good argument to talk about for the first episode as a fan myself, so here's my take on it. Honestly, I don't really see it's dying out. Rather, it's evolving. Now hard as it may to accept, Tokusatsu nowadays is all about girly men, rehashed plots, rusty motives, a freak load of marketing, and even the lack of, let's say, manpower. But why do you watch these Tokusatsu shows in the first place anyway? Now, what audience does it really cater anyway for the first question? As adults that can nitpick every flaw and fault to any kind of media? Or the kids who just want to enjoy every weekend mornings they wake up after a tiring week from school, eating their favorite breakfast, learning the values of justice, friendship, and protecting what their heroes love and cherish. Well yes, I would not contest that tokusatsu nowadays is kinda of bland and repetitive. Heck, I even love pure users, and I still consider the show a rehash of use motives. But would it really be because we wanted the shows to cater to our tastes? Or would it be because we don't really enjoy it the way it meant to be enjoyed? Yes, I still watch Toku shows no matter how shitty and repetitive it is, because it's a kid's show. Yes, accept it. It's a kid's show. Now, I presented a comment earlier that is actually evolving rather than dying. Now, evolution is all about adapting to a species environment to survive. Tokusatsu has been in television business for many, many years. Now, they have to do something to keep the kids from watching. If putting girly men in the spotlight is the way to go, they will do it. The kids won't mind it. We adults would, but they don't care nonetheless. They're running a business anyway. I can't really argue that some midnight toku shows like Garo, Goraigan, the Wecker series, and the likes of it, or mostly Keita Amemiya's works, would really cater for adults. But do we really have to find the flaws of the shows that are designed to be loved by kids? Maybe we're just taking out of the word enjoyment when we watch these shows. I watch these shows no matter how shitty it is because I still enjoy them. I enjoy them just like how Japanese kids would enjoy them. My godchild and I still enjoy Gollongers and Gosagers no matter how shit how I find it is compared to other Sentai series. I despise Kamen Rider Gaim's fruity motive and the lackluster performance of the main characters, but I still watch it and see how it will turn out because my 2 year old godchild enjoyed the first 3 episodes anyway. I also thought at first I'd already grown out of it at one point, but it turns out I'm just not really enjoying it the way it's meant to be enjoyed. Now how is it you ask? Because I watch this as a kid would watch it, my inner kid still enjoys it. I put aside my critical thinking adult side in the meantime for just 30 minutes and just enjoy it as a kid would enjoy it. And then I'll go about and bitch about it later on once I finished it. I can't really blame some people growing out of it anyway. Growing out of things is a natural phase, but there are some things that it's hard to grow out of. I'm not offended really whenever someone would say that I enjoy kid stuff, because it is really kid stuff, can't really lie to that anyway. Maybe the reason why we are still the geeks and the nerds that we are, especially about these kind of shows, we still have our inner kid somehow somewhere within ourselves, even for just 30 minutes of every week, we let our inner child have fun. Well, in our case, most of the time. Maybe an advice I can give is just enjoy it. If you can't, simply don't watch it and wait for the next one, or watch the earlier ones if you didn't yet. These kind of shows are meant to entertain, 
just like any other TV shows. And we should be entertained. Now, if not, then don't be entertained. Now, these kinds of shows are there to entertain. Just like anime, like manga, or TV shows, teledramas, or whatever. They are meant to be enjoyed by some audiences. No matter how big or small it is. Now, if you don't really like it, then simply don't watch it and jump to the next series. Now, I don't need to say that those people who think these shows are lacking something are wrong. I'm just saying that these shows are meant to be enjoyed. Just like manga or anime or comic books, whatever. The goal of all of this is just to voice out my opinions about the matter and how I go by on watch these shows most of the time. And even I can assure you that there are some shows that you might like whether it's older or newer ones. So go ahead and watch these kinds of shows. There are some series that you actually find more interesting than the other ones. It's just a matter of finding it. Well, if you like what you see here, just hit like or better subscribe to be in the loop of the latest videos that we'll release in the next coming weeks. If you have a comment, just post a comment right down below and maybe I can answer them for you personally. So again, this is Ryder Shinden and this is the first episode of Toku Thinking. See you next time and brave on!